click the bell icon and never miss another update from Bollywood Spy. Hi everyone. Uh, so I'm here today to present a brand new actor to you all. I think this has been a quite a special uh, feeling for me because through this I got to reflect upon my own um, career in cinema so far as an outsider in the film industry. Because when I got my first film, Rabne Banadi Jodi, um, opposite Shah Rukh Khan to be produced by Yash Raj Films, directed by Aditya Chopra, I honestly didn't realize <laughs> what a big deal it was at the time. Um, frankly, I did not even know uh, who Aditya Chopra was or what it felt or what it would be or mean uh, to be his heroine. That's how clueless I was. Um, I chose acting purely on the basis of sheer instincts. I did not know anyone, not a soul, who uh, worked in movies or had any connection uh, to the film industry. So I did what any outsider does. I worked to get my first break. I auditioned. And in one such audition, I got Rabne Banadi Jodi. Thank you, God. Um, but you know what I feel? I feel that, honestly, because I didn't have any legacy to live up to or any sense of familiarity with how cinema works and whatsoever, um, I feel like it, it, it gave me a kind of determination and confidence that has definitely helped me uh, to be here and has enabled my journey so far in the movies. Um, today I do a lot of films. I, I even produce some. Um, so, I'm very grateful. Um, but I feel that um, um, there are a lot of people that I've been very grateful to uh, and I'm very thankful for uh, who have helped me in my journey so far. Um, and Yashraj is paramount, Aditya Chopra, because he believed in me, he believed in my talent when I guess uh, nobody did. I come from outside, so. So, you know, um, I, had no, I had no legacy or not, nobody, exp nobody knew anything of me. And he chose me purely on the basis of what he felt I possessed, which was the talent that I had. And I'm so grateful to him. And I think as a company, Yashraj has always done that, you know. It has always backed talent first, before legacies, before connections, before um, perceptions. And uh, uh, I know so now, with, with so many examples that we have seen of, of actors being launched by the production house, that, um, that here, if no matter who you are, where you come from, if you have what it takes to become an actor, YRF will back you. And because they believed in my talent, I'm here, standing here today, and very, very happy and proud to present to you all another very young, smart, talented, actor who's also determined to make it on her own steam. So guys, without further ado, I would like to um, introduce the new YRF girl, Anya Singh. Please cue the video. Anya, please come and join us. I was just having a chat with Anya, and uh, she told me backstage that she's a little nervous. So be nice, otherwise I'm sitting here. <laughs> Beautiful uh, video. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you everybody for coming this evening. It means a lot to Adar and me. So I'm just going to ask Anya, I'm just going to ask you a few questions that I've been dying to know. I've just met her today backstage and we've had a little chat, but, but please tell me, how has the journey been so far? Because there's a life, right? There's one life before you sign your, fun, one, for your first film and then there's the other. Like literally everything just changes, it starts to feel different. So what was it like? What was it like before you became an actor and what was the first break like and then what were the reactions? And I don't want to ask you anything specifically because I know that it's a thing, that it's a moment that you can't even say because there's so much that happens, so much that happened to me. So tell me, what was the first thing that you thought of and Adi told you, yes, you're going to be doing this movie? So I remember when um, Adi sir finally told me that I've got this movie. That was my first proper conversation with Adi sir. 
Before that, I'd seen him at the cafe, you know, passed a smile, said hello, but that's it, nothing beyond that. And uh, Shanu one day told me that, listen, I'm coming to office to meet you, and uh, I just want to chat with you. So I said, okay, cool, like, I'll wait. And Shanu Sharma takes me to the lift, and she says, we're going to the fourth floor. Now, only because of coffee with Karan, I know that the fourth floor means this is Aditya Chopra's place. So I was extremely nervous from the, going from the third floor to the fourth floor. I went and I sat. I had a glass of water because I was so nervous. And uh, Adisa walks in, very coolly says, OK, so you've got the film. And uh, I want you to work really hard. And so I heard that, and I was like, I was, I was listening to what Adi was so I was hearing what Adisa was saying, but I wasn't actually listening to him because everything just went completely blank for me. And I couldn't believe it. Like, I thought when I get the film, I'll like cry or like, you know, it'll be very dramatic. But I think I couldn't believe the fact that my dream had finally turned into reality because it was very hard for me. So uh, those five minutes, I just spent staring and not listening. <laughs> And uh, I walked out, Shanu gave me a hug, and I went back home, and I FaceTimed my entire family. And I think that's when it hit me that, you know, finally what I really wanted has come to me. And nobody in your family has ever done movies or been associated with cinema in any way, right? No. So what was that like? What was their reaction to this, to hearing this? Were they prepared for it? Did, you know, did they know you're going to be auditioning for this film? So my, pe my mother and... Um, of course, my father, everybody knew I'd been auditioning because I'd been auditioning for about two and a half months before I got the film. And um, my mother kept telling me that, Anya, don't get your hopes too high because, you know, if you don't get it, you'll be very upset. So I think that's something I tried to do. But in my mind, I was like, if I don't get this, I'm going home. Like, that's the end of it. Like, this is it for me. And I have to get this. So um, I was very positive about um, the auditions. I think. Shanu and Habib sir and Adi sir, everyone was very motivating. Mm -hmm. So it was quite, quite okay. But then you auditioned a lot. Did you face, because that's a process, no? because um, you'll go to a lot of movie auditions and sometimes they tell you, huh, you've been shortlisted and you're like, so many times, <laughs> so many you're times. Like, it's down to two girls, yeah. it's you and another girl and somehow yeah. it's the other girl who's yeah. getting it. <laughs> so that happened with me uh, a lot. In fact, I would always, they would call me and be like, you know, um, you've been shortlisted. And it's between you and one more girl. And I'd be like, okay, please, God, give this to me. Please, please. I'd call up my mom and be like, acha, mama, you know, I've been shortlisted for this ad. Uh, I think I'm going to get it. And of course, I never got it. I, I never got it. So when this happened, I think um, my mother and my entire family was actually really, really proud because they were very apprehensive. I'm the only child and I'm a girl. And since we're outsiders, uh, there's this, perspective that this is a big, bad world. And you know, if you don't have somebody to support you, you're going to get lost, or nothing's going to happen, or you're going to go down the wrong way. So um, my mother was very, very apprehensive. It took me a year to convince my mother and my family that uh, to please let me come to Bombay, because um, it was my dream. And I kept telling my mother, if you don't let me go, and if you don't let me do this, I will always blame you, and I will always regret it for the rest of my life. Because I'd rather go, get rejected, but I know that I gave it a shot, yeah. you know? Rather than, Acha, I could have gone, but then Mama didn't allow me to, do, to go, so, yeah. I, I know what you're saying, because I felt that too, and uh, this whole thing of, this is a, a difficult place to be in, and it's very hard if you're from outside, and. Um, uh, you'll, you know, you'll go down the wrong road. That's a very common perception that people had. A lot of my family members also used to say that to my parents. But tell me something, because you are from, not from the industry, um, and you know this is the perception that is built up about it, how do you continue dreaming to be this, to, to, to become an actor? You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a natural restraint that is somehow uh, is un, unsaid, but it's there, right? That it's difficult, it's, it's hard. But so how do you continue feeling motivated and focused to, to, to work towards this place? So when I came to Bombay, uh, my mother had made it very clear that I'm giving you one year, Anya. And if within that year you don't get something, you're coming right back 
and I'm sending you to pursue your masters. Because my mother was very keen that I studied. So when I came to Bombay, I had the pressure of not only a timeline, but also like, will I get anything? Then as time passed, you know, months went and I went for audition and auditions and I didn't get anything. There were a lot of times when I questioned myself and I was like, was this the right choice? I gave up everything and I came to Bombay not knowing anybody, not only from the industry, but even outside. I had like two friends in Bombay. So was this the right choice? But then, since the first movie that I watched in my life, which was Dil To Pagal Hai on screen, it stuck on. So obviously there was something in me that kept pushing me and saying that, listen, your entire life you wanted to do this. Just give it a shot and just keep trying. Chalo, you have one year. That one year at least push yourself and go for every audition possible. You get something. So I think that, that, that is what really motivated me, the fact that this was my dream and I gave up everything for my dream. So I felt like I had to get it and I was here to get it. So, yeah. Thanks. And how is it working with Yashraj Films to be launched by the banner? I mean, it's, it's, I can't believe this has happened with me. Um, it's very surreal. It's anyone's dream, I feel, to be launched by such a prestigious banner. And uh, Yashraj is now family, I feel, you know. I, I don't feel like I'm a new person because I feel like I have a whole family backing me. So if I, if I have a question, if, if, I'm, if I'm uncertain about something, I know that there are 30 people I can go up to and be like, listen, I'm really confused. Can you help me with this? Which, if I wasn't a part of this family, I think I would have been very um, nervous and lost. Yeah. yeah. Which is the best thing, right? Because while they give you that support and you, know, you can always um, go to them with any kind of um, when you're feeling a little hesitant about something, but at the same time, you're, you're also always made to be your own person, and they encourage that. They encourage you to be the person that you are and to not become like anybody. And when you come from outside the industry, you're anyways, there's no sense of kind of familiarity or any kind of baggage that I have to be a certain way or this is how an actor must be and should be. And I think that is encouraged here, which is what I, I think, I mean, I should share with you all also, which is what I think is most amazing about, about uh, Yashraj films, that you're always encouraged to become your own person. And whoever you are, you build up on that. Um, and yeah, and that's why it's, of course, with Yashraj being such a big banner, but that's another thing which I think is equally, equally important and um, helpful. No? Definitely. Definitely. I agree with you completely because uh, they do encourage you to be your own person and um, at the same time, they'll help you with whatever and they'll keep motivating you and pushing you. And I think they've given me a lot of confidence, which is something I was lacking because I'm so unfamiliar with this world. So I think that's something they really gave me, like this. It was them <laughs> that said, you can do this. So yeah. You look lovely. Now, how is it working with Adar? You all should know that I've recently worked with Adar. Adar was um, assisting Karan Jhar in Edel and Mushkil. And he's a very talkative boy, as you all must have already experienced. <laughs> so how is, it, how is it working with him? He's extremely entertaining. He Adar, always has some stories to tell. <laughs> Adar is an extremely entertaining person. Like, just his being is very entertaining. I can watch him and be in splits. Um, he talks a lot. He has a great sense of humor. Uh, he has these wonderful one-liners. And I was never, um, I was always entertained on set. I was always in splits, even during a really serious scene. I had to actually go to another room. So I was away from Adar because he was always making me laugh. But the other thing about Adar is that he has a very short span, uh, uh, attention span. So you could be talking to him, you could be this close to him, but he's not listening to you. Like he's just in his own world and I could be like, Adar, Adar, Adar does not care. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, what you're saying. It, 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 so that's, that's just one flaw he has, I'd say. But it was wonderful working with him. I think um, it, it's nice because this is, both our first film. So starting a journey together, learning so many things together. It was because we both were equally excited about everything. First day on set, first day of shoot, um, this press conference. So everything is just a wonderful, has been a wonderful journey together. Anya, you're lovely and um, very charming. And whatever interaction that I've had with you today, it's been um, um, so uh, refreshingly uh, honest. 
that um, I hope you do really, really well and your first film is very successful and your work is highly appreciated. I'm hearing very good things uh, about your work. So I wish you all the best. And uh, now we can maybe have a Q&A with the, with the media and open questions to our lovely media here. Hi, guys. Please feel free to ask Anya. Anya, my name is Alok. Yes, you are. In the film industry, you are welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. The question is that, as I also asked you, how did you get to know that today that we are going to be with you? If I say that, I don't even sleep. I am sleeping in the morning, so I knew that we are going to be going to be with our pictures on social media. So I was waiting, I live with four other people in the flat. So we were sitting with them, we were waiting for the pictures to come to the pictures. I was so excited that I called Adar, who was sleeping, and he took him and said, pictures are coming, get up. So, yes, I didn't sleep because of the excitement and nervousness. Anushka, you have to remember the first day when you were in the media, what was the first day when you were in the media? Tell me a little bit about that. Loving your words. In the media? Wow. In the media. Loving your words. Lovely. No one can forget that day. वो आपका सबसे डरावना दिन होता है, because मैं जानती थी कि शाहरुख मुझे इंट्रोड्यूस करने वाले हैं आप सब से, तो एक एक थोड़ा सा कंफर्ट था, because मैं ऑटोमैटिकली उनकी प्रेजेंस में काफी यू नो कंफर्टेबल हो जाती थी, मैंने पूरी पिक्चर करी थी उनके साथ, लेकिन फिर भी आपको कोई प्रिपेयर नहीं कर सकता इस चीज के लिए, I was very scared of one thing, it was that I was very fast. So, I was telling myself to say, don't say it, 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 don't say it. And I know that if I get slow, then I forget what I was saying. Because my mind is so fast. I thought that I didn't say it, if I didn't say it, I wouldn't say it, I would 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 say it. So, everything was going on, and there were a thousand things going on. My mother told me, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Then Monica, who is here, asked me to ask me this, to ask me this, to ask me this, to ask me this. So many people put things in my head that I thought I would just blast it like this. With so much information that was in my head. But it went so nicely because of Shahrukh and he was so wonderful to me. And you guys were so nice to me. But it went so nicely because of Shahrukh and he was so wonderful to me. And you guys were so nice to me. So thank you so much. And really, that day I think it becomes a relationship with you guys. Which you guys have a very welcoming relationship. You didn't even know that you were laughing. You are coming now, son. It was not happening here, it was up and up. Yes, in the rehearsal hall, it was a joke. But, as you gave me so much love, and you talked so well to me, I request you all that you will do that with Anya. Hi, Anya. Here. Here, on your right. Hi. So, as you just mentioned that you stay in a flat with four flatmates and you being an outsider and we all know one of the many problems that we all, like especially the outsiders face in Bombay is house hunting. Especially if you're a single girl coming from an outside city and wanting to pursue a career in acting. How difficult was it for you to hunt for a place in Mumbai? Could you elaborate on that? Sure. So, I think I was very smart. Uh, I was in Delhi and I had chosen, I decided who I wanted to live with. There were these two girls, one was from Delhi and one was from Bangalore, both my friends. They had reached Bombay. So they did all the house hunting. They found a house, decided upon it, signed the lease, set up the house and then I arrived. <laughs> because I was out on a vacation in my defense. So, um, but yeah. When we were switching houses post that, I did a lot of house hunting. And I think uh, I actually never mentioned that I was an actor because somehow I've heard it's, it's more tough for actors to get houses here on rent. So I never did that. But yes, my landlady now knows that I'm an actor. So I, yeah. This Yashraj film is not working out very yeah. well for your house. <laughs> no, I'm not lied to anybody. When you go back, she'll be waiting. 
سوال یہ ہے کہ اس انڈسٹری میں آنے کے پہلے کبھی سوچا تھا کہ کون سے ایکٹر کے ساتھ رومانس کرتا ہے جب آپ آڈیشنس وغیرہ کر رہے تھے ایسا کوئی ڈریم کو ایکٹر رنویر سنگھ اور وہ کیوں سوری سوری وائی وائی جب میں نے بین باجا بارات دیکھی تھی میں اسی دن سے ان کی بہت بڑی فین بن گئی تھی اور مجھے وہ بہت ریلیٹیبل لگتے ہیں تو اس لیے آئی تھنک رنویر سنگھ اس وین آئی واز آڈیشننگ اور جب مجھے بامبے آنا تھا وہ میرے مائنڈ میں تھے بائی دا وے رنویر سنگھ از جسٹ میٹ ابھی بیک اسٹیج اینڈ سیٹ دین ٹو لو چلو ویری گڈ اینڈ بال بنا لو اینڈ آل چلو اوکے بیٹا انوشکا that what's the difference between Anushka, uh, you know, in 2008 and Anushka now in 2017? Hopefully I'm a better actor. Hopefully I'm more successful. <laughs> uh, I think this place really toughens you up, you know, from, from inside. Um, because you face challenges every single day. And it's usually like a, um, like a test for you, for your patience and for your, you know, for your mental being and emotional strength. And I think as an actor, you have to experience a lot of emotions um, to be able to become a better actor. The more you live life, the more experiences you, you get, um, it hones your craft better. And I think this place does that for you. It really pushes you, pushes you um, on an on a emotional co- roller coaster ride and uh, propels you to you know, find your um, strongest self. or to become, to become that. And I think even Anya will experience that as she goes along. Of course, you know, um, coming from and being launched, uh, despite being an outsider, being launched with, with Yashraj uh, films, you uh, do get that sense of, um, I would say, um, like a safety net where you, where you do realize that there is some, some, some enti- entity and, and an organization where you can always kind of get your, uh, like she was saying earlier, you know, you can get that kind of support from. But the journey that goes on in your, in your head, you know, with the kind of things that you face throughout, And there will be lots, now if you've been here for some time, that you have to face on your own, which is very good and it toughens you up and I think it makes you a better actor. Thank you so much, Anya. All the best for your career and Anushka, all the best for Pari. Thank you. Thank you. Just request both Anushka and Anya to stand up for a photo opportunity. Didn't hear the whole thing. Monica, you pushed the mic away from you. I said, would request both of you to stand in front for a photo opportunity. You got it, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Anushka. Thank you, Anya. Thank you.
just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to have Adar back on stage so we can have a photo opportunity with both Adar and Anya together. Thank you for your patience and thank you so much once again for coming today. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.